do a video review of a sorry about that of a website that does touch typing called Type Scout. Now, just to say that this website, you can use it for free, but it does have some restrictions on it. And then you can actually pay, you can actually pay um, some money to lift those restrictions. And from what I can see, the restrictions are quite small. So if you want to use it for free, it still seems pretty good. But then, for instance, if you want to use it for um, one month, it will cost you the equivalent of about £2.50, whereas if you want to use it for three months, it will cost you about £4.50. And if you want to use it for a whole year, it would probably cost you about £8. So in terms of the money that we're talking about for using it, it's not that it's not massively expensive. And this is a very, very good website that goes through, um, that just does touch typing in a variety of different ways and is very thorough. Okay, so what it's actually got to, it's got four different kind of games four different types of exercises that will all help to develop your touch typing. So the first one, uh, let's have a look at the picture and the keyboard game. This, let me just click on it, maybe start. Here we go, it's got a nice kind of visual for which fingers should be on what keys. So this is like your traditional touch typing, a letter appears on the screen and then you just press it and then you move on. So that is the picture and keyboard game. Let me move back a couple. Now the text writing game, okay, this is great because you can actually adapt this and put in your own text to practice your touch typing on. And you do that in this, let's change this. So you've got, uh, you go up here and go direct input and then you just write down the text that you want to appear on the screen and then you can practice that text. Okay, so that's the text writing name. Let's go back a few more. Now, Typetris, this particular exercise, okay, is a a touch typing version of Tetris and this is where letters are falling from the top of the screen and before it gets to the bottom you need to touch them. So that's lovely because that's um, you know that's a that's a very interactive and um, engaging way to practice your single letters around the keyboard. Let's go back to the final element, which is Memorix, a game called Memorix, which again involves single letters. And this is almost like the game of pairs that we all played growing up. What happens is one or a small group of letters appears on the screen and then they disappear and then once they've disappeared, so we've got J and A. So then we need to do J and J to the prompting on screen. So we've got J, J, D. So you can see the blank um, things appear 
and in those blank squares we need to write put the same letters as appeared beforehand. So it really is great for memory and uh, mental mapping. And so that that is called Memorex. So let's go back. Okay, let's go back to the right. Something else I want to take you through next is um, this top bit here, which is called Scout Mode. Scout Mode is effectively what look to be dozens and dozens of structured touch typing lessons. That so you just have to um, let's go for from kind of level one and let's go for um, the lesson A. So again there you get a nice visual prompt for what hand should be on what letters. And there we go, we got and it just goes through. So let me take you back just to see how vast the range of these structured lessons are. We've got level one and it just keeps going. We can see that we're at level 30. So I guess it's going to take us to about 100. So there we go, there's about 95 different levels and each of those levels has six or seven different structured programs within it for you to practice your touch typing. So you can see how vast this and powerful this particular touch typing website is. Let's have a look at the settings. This is another um, there's some, another lovely thing here. So you can see that it's automatically detecting that we're in the UK. So it's doing words and spelling according to that. Um, you can tell it if you're using a PC or a Mac keyboard, because of course there are slight differences there. Um, and then the backgrounds. Let's have a look at the backgrounds. You can change the background. And some of these backgrounds you can see are incredibly busy and will be quite difficult to see the keyboard against. But some of the others of them are plainer. But it's a lovely flexibility that you can um, you can change stuff like that. So let's go to maybe a, one of the plainer backgrounds, if there is one. Okay, so let's go with that. Now, another thing we can do here is you can add audio to it. So we click on here for English. What it will do is before each letter, it will give you an audio prompt of the letter. Okay, right, let's do some base row things. Let's just put some letters in there to practice. Um, so it will give us an audio prompt. So there's S, F, F, G, L, K, J. And that's a very, very clear prompt, I think, although some letters are clearer than others. And you can see here, let's talk about the general layout. It's a fairly, it's a fairly small um, keyboard that we're looking at on screen. The letter that we're meant to be, our target letter that we're meant to be hitting um, is bigger but again I'm not sure that that is so clear either. Um, 
The advantage is the rest of the screen is very clear. There's no adverts on it cluttering it up. I think we can let's see if we can actually um, yes so we could make it bigger if need be by going to the zoom function and um, let me just have a look at my look at my notes I think another um, added bonus let's just go back another added bonus in the setup here is that down here where it's got time in minutes you can actually um, you can actually set how many minutes you want the exercise to um, continue for and then the exercise will go on for that for that length of time. Okay so that's a fairly long review of Type Scout but as I said it's a very detailed um, website for touch typing. You can use it you can, you can use most of the functions on it for free but if you want to unlock its full potential then you do have to pay some money. But I think overall it's a really, really worthwhile website to check out if you want to develop your touch typing skills. Thank you for watching.